In this video, I'm gonna show you the top three trading times for US 30 during the New York, the Asia, and the London session, how you can maximize your profits within these strategies. These are very simple strategies and won't require more than 10 minutes of your time every single day. If you are new to my channel, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button for me and watch every single one of my other videos on US 30 because there's value in them. And if you could like this video, Every time that you like this video, it pushes it out to more traders that need to see this valuable information. And lastly, if you want to be mentored by me and learn my exact US 30 strategy, make sure you send me a message on Instagram or my email is in the description. Now, without further ado, let's get into my computer. Yo. One more thing guys, I actually do live trading sessions with my team every day. This is a trade that we are currently in. If you wanna be a part of those live trading sessions, you can DM me on Instagram and I'll send you the link. So let's go away from this. Let's not look at the charts there. I wanna show you guys the three trading times within this time period right here. Now, we need to mark this up. I love to mark and take notes and if you guys didn't know, action takers or note takers are action takers so first time is going to be the new york session the best time to trade the new york session is obviously at the market open which is 6 30 a.m that's pst i'm in california so you need to go on google and type in what is 6 30 a.m in california for me in dubai or london wherever it may be and you'll get the exact time now the main time frame that i'm using on this is m15 and the hour one those are the babies now two second time and i need to make sure this is right actually i do have it in my notes but the time is a little bit different so my team's blowing me up right now. Everyone just made money on this trade. So, okay. I have a timer set. This is once again California time. The next time is going to be the Asia session. And it's going to be, we're going to be using the, yep, okay, the Asia session. Then the time is going to be 5 p.m. Let's do it like this. 5 p.m. And actually, we're going to be looking at another time. And... 6 p.m. Once again, PST. Okay? And we're going to be using only the hour one time frame for this. Third one is going to be the London session. Okay? And the time is going to be 12 a.m. And the other time is going to be 1 a.m. And we're using the hour one time frame for this as well. Okay, so if you guys want to take a picture, a screenshot, something like that, where you can get these times, very important. These are the key times that I figured out for US 30. There's no other times that I would be trading except these key times. So this is a major hack. And if you guys want more sauce, make sure you stay for the rest of this video. Okay, so like I said, 6.30 a.m. is the first key time. So we're going to be looking at the 6.15 to 6.30 candle. That's our tell candle. I'm not going to go into depth what I'm looking for, anything like that. The simplest thing that I can tell you guys is look at the trend of the markets for the past couple of days. Is it going up in a steady uptrend or is it going down in a steady downtrend? The trend is your friend at the end of the day. And a lot of the times, all you have to do is wait for a reversal candle, a continuation candle to get in to go with the trend. And that's when all the liquidity is coming in at the 6.30 a.m. market open. Because we have to understand this, at 6.30 a.m., 9.30 a.m. EST is when the market open is opening up for the stock and equities market, all these other markets. That's when the big dogs are just putting all their money into the market. So that's what we're going to see the biggest moves occurring is at 6.30 a.m. PST at the market open. Okay? So there we can see that minute 15 candle. If we want to look at the hourly, it would be probably the 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. candle would be our tell candle. Very, very simple stuff, guys. What I recommend that you do is every time that I give you, go back and look at it. 
and see how it works for you. Is this a time that's good for you to trade? Are you going to be asleep? Are you going to be awake? With me, I honestly love trading at the market open. Why? Because I get up at 6 a.m., I take a shower right away, I do my hair, which you guys love, and then I get right to the markets where I do my live trading session, then I'm done, I go about my day. It's perfect, it's easy, I like that. Um, I like this routine that I have, it's nice. So really figure out what time is gonna be the best for you, but go through the markets and look at all these different times that I gave you. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but timing is one of the most important aspects when it comes to trading. Why? Because you want to be showing up to the markets at the same time every single day. Looking at the markets at the same time and figuring out, okay, what is my ideal perfect setup? And that's all that you need. Bruce Lee once said, I do not fear a man who's practiced 10,000 kicks one time, but I fear a man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. Focus on that one setup, hone in on it, and make it your ideal perfect setup. And when you see it, take it. Okay, so that's our first time. Now the next time is going to be during our Asia session right here. Let's zoom in here. So the time, once I said, so this is the 14th of December. Let's look at this. December 14th is our date we're looking at. Okay. All right. This video is sponsored by my program, FX University. Go to the link in the description to sign up, or there should be a link on this page. Once you go to join now, you're gonna go to get started, and once you do, we're gonna give you a code for 15% off. Go right here where it says to add promo code, type in FX1, and click apply. Okay, it's this candle right here. Whatever candle closes at 5 p.m. PST is the candle that you're gonna be looking for. This is our telltale sign candle. And what I do is I have an alarm set on my phone at 4.57 p.m. every day. So instead of me, it's just difficult because if you look at the bottom, it's in like military time or something like that versus the other candles like, okay, 11 a.m., 12 a.m. So it's a little difficult to read it at points, a little confusing. So I have an alarm set when I used to trade this strategy at 4.57 p.m. And that's when I look at the markets on the hour one time frame. Now we can see this is our telltale sign candle right here on the hour one chart for the Asia session. If I do not see a setup at the time, I simply walk away from the markets. I have another timer set on my phone at 5.57 p.m. So if this candle doesn't give me the confirmation that I need, I'm like, okay, let me move to the next candle. I'm gonna enter a trade on this candle right here if it gives me the confirmation. So this is very important that you're looking at how these candles are opening, how they're closing, because that's going to give you the confirmation whether it's going to be a good setup or not. Ideally, that's my opinion. You guys might disagree or agree. Now, the next times are going to be right here, this 2300 candle. So let's zoom this out, bring this over here. The next times are going to be the London session, the 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. candle. So when I'm talking about the 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. candle, I mean the candle that closes at 12 a.m., the candle that closes at 1 a.m., the candle that closes at 5 p.m., 6 p.m., the candle that closes at 6.30. We're going to be looking at those. So we have this 2300. This is 11 p.m. to 12 a.m. Once this candle closes, I'm going to look at the markets on the hour one time frame, see if I see a possible setup, and if I do, I'm going to execute. This was nice. We saw a nice consolidation during the Asia started to push down we saw that bearish momentum oh i would have sold right here probably down to the next psych level right here or to this level right here and it would have been an absolute perfect trade but if i don't see a setup at that time i'm gonna wait till the 1 a.m candle opens up so this candle closes at 1 a.m but opens at 12 a.m so that's where you guys can have another alarm set on your phone from um, 11 57 p.m. have an alarm and then have another alarm at 12 57 a.m. and you could just have them set to where when it goes off you're like, all right I need to go to the charts look at the hour one time frame see if there is a valid setup but guys this is the part where you go to the charts now and figure out these times look and see what are the best times for you to trade one because trading should fit into your day-to-day -day life and then two Figure out what sessions have the biggest moves that I would like to participate in. Obviously, the <clears throat> New York session is the best, but 
it's really up to you guys what fits into your day-to-day -day life and this is a great way of putting it if you're more of a impatient trader I would trade at the market open when the most movement is happening. But if you're a patient trader, maybe look in the Asia or the London session for your setups to occur. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out, guys.